Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. In this video series, you're going to learn how to create a dungeon that your players are going to love to explore. Today, we're going to focus on drawing the map of the dungeon. In future videos, we're going to fill them with traps, monsters, block books, storylines, and so forth. The first question you have to ask yourself about a dungeon is, is it man-made or natural? Natural would be a cave and man-made would be some kind of a structure. For this tutorial, we are going to design a temple for a tabletop role-playing game. One mistake that I see many new GMs make is they draw a map that doesn't follow any kind of logic. They either go online and have one randomly generated by a site like Donjon, or they draw one by themselves and it's kind of all over the place. Remember, every structure is designed with a purpose in mind, so you have to follow certain logical rules. In the very beginning of D&D, there were many commercial modules that literally contained empty rooms. Why that was done is beyond me, because nobody creates a castle and has an empty room for no purpose. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. All we're gonna do today is draw the map. The first question you have to ask yourself is what program you're going to use to draw the map, if any. If you're more comfortable drawing by hand, then more power to you, by all means do so. But if you're busy, like most of us, then I would recommend that you use a computer program. There are tons of programs out there and it will largely depend on your personal preference which one you would like to use. For this example, we are going to use Dungeon Scroll, which is a free program, and I will put a link in the description below. Now, I'm not going into too many details on how to use the program. The reason for that is that I want to make the point that a map is only a reference tool for players. The players will fill in the details in their mind how the place looks. Uh, you will give them further details later, but the only purpose of a map is so they can orientate themselves in your world. So let's get started. The first thing is I go to Dungeon Scroll and I draw a few rectangles here. I'm going to select this, lay uh, this layout. I like that. And then I select the rectangle tool on the bottom. Now, uh, do you see the dots here? Use dots to guide yourself. Now, I advise you to use full squares than half squares. It's easier for virtual tabletops and also for drawing purposes. But it's up to you. So let's draw a few rectangles here. Notice that at the top, uh, Dungeon Scroll gives you the size of the individual room. So, 4x4, four 4x5, four, four this one. And now we're gonna draw one large one for Major Hall. And So here, twelve by f uh, fourteen. Eh, let's make that eleven by fourteen, and some more smaller rooms here. Here, gonna use my wall tool. Add a wall here. 
So now I have the rectangles. Now this is a good start, but it's far from perfect. So we're gonna add we're gonna add the hallways because obviously you have to come in in somehow. One here, one here, another one. Draw this in the middle of the two because it's a little short. And okay, so now I have a nice dungeon, but it's still not so the way I want to look at like a temple. So I'm gonna add a round shape on the top. How do I do that? I'm gonna select my polygon here and then I go add to the left side uh, division I leave, but for sides, I'm gonna do one. That makes it a circle. And then I find the middle of my thing. One, two, three. Put it right in the middle and bam a nice I have a nice round surface now uh, this looks still uh, good but we are still missing something we're missing an entrance so I'm going back to my rectangle tool and I'm gonna do also approximately in the middle draw a hallway and then I'm gonna add the stairs Here's the stair tool, draw my size of the stairs, and then I stretch it, and here are my stairs. Okay, good so far, but let's add some doors. We use the door tool, I draw a line, oops, that looks terrible, door here, another door, a door, A door here. Okay, this looks already pretty good, but we're gonna do some more. Now, it would look so much better if we do columns. So I'm gonna go to the polygon tool again. I'm gonna set the division to 8. I'm gonna select a race and I'm gonna keep my sides down to 1. So I'm going to start drawing some columns here. The size hmm, 0, uh, 0.25 is good. 1, 2, 3, down. Here I have my columns. Do the uh, same thing again on the other side so it looks even. And now I have a temple, or at least the basics for a temple. Now, we have doors, we have columns. One thing that is missing, and this will become important for later, is that you number your rooms. Now, if you can, if the map allows it, I would advise you to place the numbers outside of the room where the players can see them on the map. How do I get numbers? I click here on images and then I, on the search I type and here the numbers show up. Here's my number one. I place that here. Number two. 
Now, these will become important for when we write the descriptions for the rooms. As I said, if you can, place them on the outside of the map. But that will depend very much on the map. Some maps, there won't be any place to put it. Like if you have an inside room, the only place you can put it is on the inside. But if you can, place them on the outside of the rooms. So that your players don't see them. Now, you have noticed that I have a secret room here. Very important to remember. If you start numbering uh, rooms and the players see the numbers, make sure that you put the secret rooms last. Why? Because otherwise you encourage meta gaming. Meaning, they say, hey, wait a minute, there's a number missing. We are missing a room. And then they start searching. That is not very reality based. So, now, this was our video for today. In future videos, we're going to populate the dungeons. We are going to put monsters in there and traps and treasures and storyline and plot hooks, all that good stuff. But for that day, all I want you to remember is that maps can be easily created with a program such as Dungeon Scroll. Play around with it with the program. There's a lot more to it than I showed in this video. And get familiar with it. If you can draw maps fast, you will save yourself a lot of time and will make your generation and your creative process so much more enjoyable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I hope you have a good day. See you in the next video.